Moms, dads, I'm sure you've been there. I know I have. It's 7, 8 o'clock. It's time to start winding down, getting the kids ready for bed. They're bathed. The bedtime story is ready to go. Only problem is <laughs> they found their second wind and now they're bouncing off the walls. You just can't seem to get the kids in a routine or in bed at a decent hour. There is a new study that finds those poor sleeping habits may be impacting your children's behavior and their brain. It's after 10, and 7-year-old Tyler Flores is still awake. Well, it is getting late. Do you feel tired? No. <laughs> I'm not tired, and I never will be. Tyler's mom says they've pushed his bedtime to 9.30, but even then, he still doesn't go to sleep. She says it's taking a toll on the entire family. In the mornings, we always get upset or mad because he's never on time and he's always tired. A new study shows children who do not have regular bedtimes during the school week are more likely to have behavioral problems by age seven. Those behaviors would include things like hyperactivity, emotional problems, conduct problems, and problems with their peers. Researchers say going to bed at varying times interrupts a child's developing brain and natural sleep cycles. Tyler's mom says there are some nights he doesn't go to bed before midnight. She says she doesn't see behavioral problems, except sometimes he's distracted in school. He loses concentration easily. Doctors recommend children Tyler's age get 10 to 12 hours of sleep a night. And just in case you're wondering, yeah, the behavior of the children in the study got worse the longer they went without a regular bedtime. Hmm. However, children who switched to a routine or at least a more normal sleeping schedule saw clear improvements in their behavior. Yeah, besides behavioral, there are many benefits to keeping kids on a routine. Dr. Laura Markham with AHA Parenting says routines can eliminate power struggles. The child will come to understand that brushing their teeth before bed, for example, is just what is done at that time of day. Dr. Markham says regular routines can also help kids get on a schedule. She says this can help them fall asleep more easily. Routines can also help kids take charge of themselves. Over time, they'll learn to let's say, put on their PJs at bedtime without constant reminders. Dr. Markham says kids who feel more independent have less need to rebel. She says routines can also help kids cooperate, which reduces stress for everyone. If everyone knows what comes next, no one feels pushed around. Now, it's not just kids, though. Adults can benefit from routines, too. For instance, psychologists say adults who have a regular, predictable sleep cycle can find it easier to fall asleep. It's also easier for them to wake up because your body knows it will get the rest it needs. Also, psychologists say adults who stick to the routines are less likely to get sick. So now that we know the importance of routines, especially at night, you may be wondering how you can get your kids or yourself to drift <laughs> off into La La Land. Actually, there are several steps that you can take. If you have younger kids, EmpoweringParents.com suggests having quiet time before bed. That means no video games, no computer, at least a half an hour before it's lights out. When it comes to electronics for older children, experts say take them completely out of the room. Everything from the TV to the video game system to the cell phone. Come bedtime, they should be removed. The rest of the family should also start winding down come bedtime. It's going to be hard for the others to fall asleep if mom's bustling around in the kitchen or if the older siblings are running around and carrying on. Something else the entire family can try, soft lighting. Try to avoid bright lights and use low wattage bulbs instead. Now, while the softer lights are on, go ahead and read a book. It can help clear your mind and your child's mind. And by the way, something else that can help, lavender. The scent can actually help a baby unwind. That's why a lot of shampoos and lotions are scented with lavender. Just try adding a few drops to your child's bath or put a lavender diffuser in your child's room. And of course, by the way, Lavender helps us adults relax yeah. as well. <laughs> we all have our own tricks on how to get the kids to go to bed, so we asked you to share your advice on Facebook. Julie says, five kids and my no-nonsense style, no video games in our house. You've got to play outside till dark. My oldest will be 35 soon. They all say, I want my kids to grow up like we did. Best compliment of my entire 56 years of living. Wow. Carolyn said, my son's now 33, but what I used to do is get him washed up and then have quiet time. We'd sit together in his room, talk quietly about what he did that day and what we'd do tomorrow. I also would play his soothing music box and he would relax and drift off to sleep. Joanne says, schedule, schedule, schedule. And no electronics <laughs> other than the radio. 
Jody's right there as well. Shower at 8, snack at 8.30, and in bed where I could cuddle with him for a little bit. Aw. <laughs> Vicki says, I let my kids grow up, move out, and have kids of their own. Payback is sweet. <laughs> if you'd like to weigh in on the conversation, go to the Delmarva Life Facebook page. You know what I did with Zach? What? I'd lay in bed with him and read a book. Yeah, we yeah. did that too. And then you'd fall asleep. First. <laughs> Every time. Still ahead on Delmarva Life, the Battle of the Bulge has so many of us watching our sugar intake. Oftentimes, we opt for artificial sweeteners, but could they be doing more harm than good? We're going to get the Guinea, if you'll pardon the pun, on sweeteners. We're also going to learn a few steps or a few simple food swaps that can save you on fat and calories. For instance, wait till you hear how dry oats can really dress up your dinner. Okay, so we're talking food. We're going to go to the kitchen with a fourth grader. She's going to show us <laughs> how to whip together a tasty little frittata. Plus, if this morning was any indication, the colder weather is creeping in. Oh, oh, oh. So when you turn on the heat in your home, you want to make sure the warmth gets to you. Quickly, we'll find out why, if it's not, it may not be a faulty furnace. We'll learn more. Go more to life. We'll be right back.